Miami Beach Pride promises return to the beach celebration. Gay Miami has some of the best beaches in the world, so it makes sense that the city's celebration of LGBTQ plus life will be held right there in front of the sea, Miami Beach. Pride's springtime festival returned in 2023 to bringing its celebration of all things LGBTQ throughout Miami Beach. Get ready for Miami Beach Pride special events, family-friendly, community activations, social mixers, and world-class entertainment from April 1st through April 16th. The Pride will be kick-started with Pride Flag Raising Ceremony at Miami Beach City Hall on April 1st, following various events like Pride Lights the Night, Flip the Switch event at Euclid Oval, Fun Dip by Sweet Spot official kickoff pool party at the Clevelander, Angles Dinner, Miss Miami Beach Pride pageant at Exchange Miami, and much more. The main Pride Festival will be for two days, April 15th and 16th, featuring VIP Beach Affair at Loomis Park, hosted by Sandra Bernhardt. Pride Festival Day 1 and 2 will be held at Loomis Park, celebrating 15 years of Pride. These two days will be open to all. The final day will start with the Miami Beach Pride Parade at Ocean Drive on April 16th at 12 p.m. It will be free cost and open to all. We really cannot wait for this year's yeah. event, you know, celebrating 15 years. Uh, we're happy uh, to be more involved at the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau this year. We're hosting an Angels Dinner on April 3rd uh, at the Mondrian South Beach uh, to raise funds for Miami Beach's uh, Angels program, uh, oh, nice. issuing some scholarships to LGBTQ plus youth in Miami-Dade County. And uh, that scholarship will be in memory of Michael Aller, one of our uh, visionaries in Miami Beach. So yeah. we're very happy to be doing that. Ben, I'm curious, a, a wonderful opportunity to talk about Miami Beach Pride and you, one of the top voices in tourism, uh, LGBT tourism in America. Help us understand how an event like this affects community. We know the parties, we know the parade, we know the beach festival. Um, I, we all have good understanding of that. Help us understand the value of an event like this for a community uh, like um, uh, Miami, Miami Beach, Dade County. There's a, a lot of uh, you know positive that comes from it, not only from bringing the community, the LGBTQ plus community together, but it is also a way to uh, present the LGBTQ community and you know to our allies, to people that have never experienced it, to visitors that happen to be in Miami Beach and come across these festivities. You know, last year when we were there, a lot of the 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 people were saying we could not believe that there's such an immense gathering of people it's so peaceful everyone's happy every, you know it's just a matter of communicating uh the the harmony that that really exists in our community and i think that that message is worth a lot a lot more you know when i want to ask another question related to it i know people traveling into broward county miami-dade county tourism is a gigantic uh, business uh, driver. But in this instance, uh, in addition to the business driver of people coming to uh, uh, Miami-Dade County for LGBT tourism, which I know is gigantic, especially because of the port. It's the most traffic port in the entire world. Um, people forget uh, that people in Mississippi don't necessarily have something like a Miami Beach Pride. Exactly. And so they, it comes to awareness, stories like this, we're marketing in Roku, and somebody in Arkansas comes across and goes, wait, what's going on in Miami Beach? Tell us a right. little bit about how the image of community is affected by an event like Miami Beach Pride. Well, you know, one of the things that comes to mind when you're describing that is, you know, the, these visitors from, you know, Tennessee or wherever they are, are on a big bus tour and they happen to go by palace and they see their first drag queen up to that point this has all been a, a you know concept to them it's like what they see on the screen so to actually come in touch sold by tucker carlson exactly <laughs> exactly so this is really a connection you know and a lot of these folk relate to the world through what they are told versus what they are experiencing. Yeah. I think that by putting them out there front and center and seeing that this is just a person, this is just a, a way of entertain and, entertainment and coming together, I think it really makes an yeah. impact. I, I can just tell you broadly, I'm sorry, did you want to, uh, I didn't want to cut you off. Uh, no, my passport has expired, so I won't be able to make it. Uh, <laughs> You're not allowed to cross the border. <laughs> you, know, you know, one Before thing that I, I, I think is also super interesting about this event 
is, uh, you know, I've been to literally hundreds of uh, LGBT events, pride events, all over America, all over the world. Literally, I'm, I'm not, no exaggeration. Miami Beach is really unique in that you're on the beach. Nice. Uh, if you've seen the famous movie from the 90s, The Birdcage, that parade is on that street in front of that club, uh, uh, that uh, the fictional club the uh, and uh, of The Birdcage. And that's where the parade is. And the festival is literally in the sand. So you're, you're engaging in some kind of booth or a stage for a concert or whatever it is. You're in the sand yeah. at South Beach. That is unique in all of America. Yeah. All of America. So yeah. uh, don't miss it. <laughs> it's coming uh, in April. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.